Hey, what's going on my YouTube family? This is your boy Mel with Ill Visions LLC. Um, I've been on a little hiatus for a little while. I apologize, I haven't uploaded any content in probably about a half a year or, no, nah, I uploaded the Viva Monster video uh, several months, no, about a few months ago. It was, it was during the pandemic that I did that before, I can't remember. But anyway, uh, today what I wanna talk about um, is one of the most common questions I get from a lot of people interested in shooting music videos or getting into videography and doing video content is how do you get clients, uh, especially for music videos. Um, you know, some people are fortunate to have connections uh, through networking or uh, doing other things, but today we're gonna talk about how I myself got into shooting uh, music videos and you know, going from there, you know, giving you other options to get into the game. I stated before today what we're gonna talk about is how to get clients starting off as a videographer slash somebody that just wants to shoot music videos and you know whether you want to do it for a hobby, if you want to do it for a living, this is one of the best ways that I can recommend. Number one, the first question you're gonna get from anybody that you know you're interested in doing music videos for, whether you put passing out business cards or anything, is let me see some of your work. <clears throat> you just started out. You ain't got no work. So um, what I do recommend is try to find a friend or a cousin or an aunt or somebody that got a son that either raps, sings, or do, do whatever. And unfortunately, you have to build your portfolio. And what I would recommend at this point is shooting for free. You know, you got to shoot for free. And especially if you never shot music videos before and haven't done any editing, you probably want to do it for free because you don't want to, you know, try to pitch to a high paid client and then it's taking you a month, two months just to deliver product because you're trying to learn a, uh, myself, I use Adobe Premiere. Some people use um, Final Cut Pro or Sony Vegas Pro, whatever, whatever you use, you know, you want to at least make sure you're well versed in that. And secondly, like I said, um, you got to make sure you're able to de deliver the type of product that the client is looking for. But number one, I would definitely recommend just shooting free music videos. Shoot like a free, low budget, maybe one location, three performance shots, two performance shots, at, or two locations or whatever, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't concentrate on getting all this equipment like drones and monitors and all this stuff. That's, that's later on once you learn the video game. Uh, what I say, but I also would say is at least get you a camera that, that shoots, you know, 1080p at least. You know, I would recommend that as the minimum quality. But like I said, the first thing is just to shoot free, uh, without a doubt. Now, as far as building your brand and expanding, you know, trying to get out there, I would be very selective of who I shoot for free. You understand what I'm saying? I've shot for a couple artists when I first started for free. Um, so at this point, you have to remember, you're giving out a free music video but technically it's not free. It's free maybe to the artist, but you gotta make sure you're shooting the right people. Like I said, in the beginning, I will work with cousins, friends, and stuff like that. So, say for instance, myself, this is my way of thinking. You can advertise on Instagram or something that you're in the area or whatever, you can advertise by area that you shoot music videos, right? You probably will get a whole bunch of rappers. The majority is gonna be rappers, like 80%. A lot of them got low buses any, anyways. A lot of them are not dealing with labels and you know stuff like that so they coming straight at you raw out of the pocket you know all they music they talk about all this cash and big money how they ballers and then you start talking budget and then now all of a sudden that that rap talk ain't you know doesn't exist anymore <laughs> you know what i'm saying but what i would do some of these rappers whether they local or not they have a big following, whether they got $15,000, uh, not $15,000, pardon me, 15,000 followers or 20,000 followers, 25,000, some of them have 100,000 followers, you know? So those are the artists that you wanna target shooting free from. You let them know, hey, I'm gonna shoot your music video, I'm gonna do a little promo, Instagram ad, just can you please put it on your page as part of the deal of shooting the free music video. You gotta remember, rappers, do collaborations with other rappers, singers, and they need music video content. So they display that stuff out there for you, then all of a sudden, the people who see that stuff, the other rappers that follow them, if the video is tight and your craft is on point, they are gonna hit you up. Yo, I, I see you did a video for my man XYZ, or, or I did a song with him, and y'all, I'm interested. Like, like, you know, what's going on? That'll help branch you out. But 
I would try to make it a win-win situation. If you're gonna shoot for free, shoot it with somebody that you get something out of. If they got a lot of followers, da 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 da. Tell the artist, hey, shout me out, tag me, tell people to follow me. You gotta build your following base too, because the more followers you got, the more active you look like, you know, you're doing in the video world. You know, it, it, it boosts your relevance. But, but I would definitely say, like I said, shooting for free and building your portfolio, picking the right artist to shoot for free for, you know what I'm saying? Is the best way if you have no connections, you don't know people, no artists, but I believe that is the best way, in my opinion, to get yourself out there in the video world. But that's just something I thought I want to throw out, um, you know, just some information this way. Instead of responding to all these individual emails and comments, I can just make a video, you know, and get the information out. But, you know, I'm going to keep this short. Uh, like I said, um, as always, like and subscribe to the channel. I'm not too active on here, but I'm going to start being more active since the move. And I got the office all set up and everything. I'm still building my video studio downstairs and everything. So um, this is Mel with Ill Visions. As always, subscribe and like. And hit that little bell on the bottom left corner over there. So that way when I do upload new content, you get a bell. So like I said, I'm basically posting a lot of video content and uh, music video stuff. I also shoot documentaries. I shoot interviews, commercials, all types of things, anything video related, weddings, I've done it all. But yeah, stay tuned, subscribe, peace.